What's up, you guys? Welcome to another episode of Too Many Opinions Podcast. This is Sarah. This is Jeannie. All right, Jeannie, what's the topic for today? Okay, we have a really good topic today, and the topic is going to be, is love an action or a feeling, and is it enough? Mm. Mm -mm -mm. You want to know what I think right off the bat? Go ahead, sister. All right. So for me, through experience, I have to say that love is an action, which then, as a result of the actions you receive, gives you that feeling. Does that make sense? Yeah, that makes sense. I think with me, I think love is a feeling that then turns into an action that then goes back to the feeling. Hmm. Okay, so then if I was to ask you, how do you like to be loved? What would, what would you say? If it's a feeling. I want to feel. That's tough. Hmm. Right? Because in reality, I feel like somebody has to do something, not for you, but. So you don't believe in love at first sight? No. You don't believe I love. I can. No. I feel like <laughs> if you see someone and you like, I don't know, like a magic, magical thing happens, you can fall in love quickly but the thing is that the actions is what's going to sustain you to stay there you know what i'm saying like it's not you don't i don't for example okay it's it's like saying if an ugly guy does all the greatest actions for you you're gonna fall in love with him it's like love and attraction like it has to be it has to be a magical spell in the beginning I, you just can't do things nice things for me and what if i don't even care because you just so that is such a good point that you just brought up so i was reading this blog on this topic because you mm -hmm. know we had to come with our facts and whatever yeah. and this thing said that there's something called limerence which is exactly what you described it's that feeling that when you first get into a relationship it is almost like you worship the ground that your partner works on because it's new it's exciting it's you're attracted you're happy it's like all these new feelings and it almost things that would typically annoy you maybe in your last partner this partner does it it's a new person so it's like you overlook it that's what i'm saying so it's like it's but called that's a little bit of, i mean so you're not saying it's but then love the deep the meaning of love is love is a deep feeling of affection it's not an action though it's an affection it's read it again Love is a deep feeling of affection. Is a deep feeling of so how do so you it's get a feeling? But how do you get affection? Through action. Absolutely. So it's like you. But in the beginning, when you first meet someone, there is no really action yet. It's just kind of like an, an. So what you're saying is, it's not love at first sight. It's attraction at first sight. Yes, I I believe in attraction and lust. I believe in lust. Yeah, yeah, heck yeah. Because you can see somebody. You be like, God damn, you is fine. Mm -hmm. Like, hold on, let me get your number, baby. You know what I mean? Yeah. But especially now, and I feel like before my perspective was different. I I was a hundred percent that loves a feeling, you feel it, but 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 now I feel like, especially through therapy and things that I've learned and like what I've read about, it's a matter of the actions that a person takes to prove that they care about you. So if and this kind of goes with good and bad. Like if you weren't loved properly, and we'll talk about this at a later time, if you weren't loved properly, then you're not going to know love for what it really is. So you're going to think the form of love, abuse, toxic abuse is love. Yeah. I still think it's a feeling though. Because it's like it's like the saying goes, love is not enough. Love so isn't. If, for, so if love is just an action, that should be enough. Love should be enough because it's an action. But, it, but it's, a, it's, it's love is like, I feel like it's love plus action equals like a mega man let's just say in our instance because we like we're we're, right. we're straight people um i don't think i don't i don't think it's just action though you know what i'm trying to say like it can't just be action so mm, okay so i feel like i respect you obviously you know i respect your opinion but i i just truly believe like without action behind someone's Words of love. For example, if people be like, oh, I love chicken nuggets. I love this. They're using that term so loosely mm -hmm. that it's like, what is the true meaning of love to you? Right. So love is actually a strong word, just like hate. Right. Yeah. And for love, it's like in order to love somebody, you have to go through um, like you have to have like moments of trusting and moments of them being there for you and experiencing new things together or sad things together and going through all those things and then being reassured and all, like Absolutely. all of that. Yeah, and I agree. I agree with everything you're saying. I just don't think that love is an action. I think love plus action keeps you there. But if you take... Because it can't just be action though. So you're telling me that any guy that treats you amazing and shows you all this action, you're going to fall in love with him? No, but... 
Okay, so if love is a feeling, how do you describe it? What do you do to, what do you, what, for instance, if you're mad, you're sad, there's, those are feelings. Right, but for example, your son. Right. He doesn't have to do anything for you to love him. Well, I feel like children are different. No, it's not. It's still, it's love is love. You know what I'm saying? It's really not. But like some people don't have to do anything for you to love them. You know what I'm saying? It's just that in a relationship, love is just not enough to keep you there. You know what I'm saying? With your son, it's different because it's like he don't have to do nothing for you to love him. But it's not that he's doing something to make you love him. You just love him. It's a feeling. Well, I love him because I made him. Right. So if I didn't make, no, I don't think I love so. Him. Because what if you, let's say, you adopted a baby, you, you didn't, you, you didn't raised, make him, but you raised him. Or yeah, her. but it's still. I just feel like it's it's this plus this equals this. It's so just, that's a great example. Yeah. So you adopt a child. Mm-hmm. Off the bat, you don't love them. You grow to love them. Yeah, but it's not because of their actions. It's because. It's, but it is. No, it's not. So even even there's people that have terrible kids that they're terrible people and they still love them. It's not only because of actions. You know what I'm saying? Like. It's right. not. <laughs> love is not. It's not. It's like love is actually going. For example, let's say you're in a relationship and your man loses his job. Now he really can't do much. You know what I'm saying? There's still something holding you because you still love him. If it was just like, oh, yeah, now there's an action. He lost his job. Now he ain't doing shit. Get the fuck out of my house. They, you didn't really love him. You know what I'm saying? Like, but that, it's still something but still- that reinforces something. It's just not. They're two separate situations. Love is not action. So I feel like for that example you gave for like your your partner losing their job, right? Mm-hmm. The action would for that situation would be him providing, but he still supports you in other ways, right? Your partner would still be there to support you, um trust you, like and trust information with you, support you, help you, help out around the house or whatever else it is. So right? then what if your husband goes to war and loses a leg and can't do nothing but home? People, wives that stay with their husband, that's out of love because they're not doing much for them. Right, but it's still an action of them being there. Like them Yeah, but person. no, there's plenty of there's plenty of things where the husband's literally a vegetable and the wife remains there out of love because she could easily move on and go to the next person and this man isn't doing nothing for me, but it's a feeling. Like it's the feeling of, that's what it's saying, L- feeling of deep feeling of affection. Mm. It's just that this is, I think that you're getting confused because what I'm saying is in a relationship of two regular, normal, healthy people, you can love him, but after a while, there's no action coming from him you know, treating you nice, talking to you with respect, you know, providing, yada, 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 that love is going to fade and it's going to go away. So that's what I'm saying. Love needs action. But action is not love. So I feel like love... In my opinion. Yeah, of course, of course, of course, of course. So I feel like for me, love, and what I looked up was love equals an intimate emotional bond. A feeling. Because emotions is feelings. So... Emotions are feel. I don't, what do you mean? When you cry, that's a feeling. When you're sad, that's a feeling. Those are all emotions. But love isn't a primary emotion. Love, uh, love would then be considered a secondary emotion because you can't. When you're mad, you like you hurt yourself. Mm-hmm. You're in pain. That's feeling pain. Love can literally make you sick. Like love, absolutely. Like, absolutely. like I'm not taking none of that away. It's like God. He shouldn't love none of us because we all sin. Let's just mm. say. Yep. But God is love. He loves us regardless of what we do. It's a feeling. You know what I'm saying? Because none of us are worthy of his love because we sin on a daily basis. So he still loves us even after we sin. You know what I'm saying? So that's why I'm saying like love is a feeling. Now, if in, in, in a relationship, if there's no actions backing that up, though, love is not going to pay the bills. Love is yeah. not going to keep you there. Love is not going to keep you stable. You know what I'm saying? Like it's love plus action that keeps the home happy. In my opinion. And yeah, no, of course. So love is not enough. That that's like the next thing. Like I'm so sorry, like Oh, love definitely isn't a love. I'm I'm just not. You can you can love somebody till the absolute end of time. You can experience different things, but then if they're I believe in if he wanted to, if she wanted to, they would, right? Yes. No matter what the gender is. If it's a woman, if it's a man, if they wanted to listen to you, they wanted to receive whatever issues it is that you're going through or have talked about or maybe have spoken about triggers and then they go ahead and still almost completely ignore that and don't treat you any differently and just treat basically treat you how they want to treat you Mm -hmm. regardless of how you feel that's that's not love and they can say that they love you but if you loved me and I'm telling you something and then you're completely ignoring it, no, then it's like that's selfish. You don't, you don't, right. you don't love me because if you did love me, your actions would tell me different. 
Mm -hmm. You would receive what it is that I'm telling you and you would work to be better or come to a common understanding or an agreement with me to help me understand. Absolutely. So that's why but it's it's like also like have you heard of instances where but like the man can't do what they want you to do? Let's just say like let's say you want kids and they don't. Mm -hmm. They still love you. But now they'll be like, you know what? I love you, but I have to let you go because I can't fulfill this need for you. But that doesn't mm -hmm. mean that they don't love you. They also love themselves. You know what I'm saying? If I can't if I can't give you something as a partner, that doesn't mean I don't love you. I just physically that's not that's that's not what's right for me, but I still love you. The feeling is still there. It's just I'm going to have to let you go so that someone else can love you more properly than I can to give you what you need. Because I can't give you what you need and then also like that's like also hating on myself if I don't want that for myself. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. it, it's 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 very sticky and it's 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 hard. It, yeah, this it's is a hard situation. I think it is. And, and I, even in friendships, I'm sorry to cut you off. Even in friendships, like love is not enough for agreed. me to be a friend. I agree. I can love you, but if you're like sucking me dry, bro. And that's emotionally, financially in any area. Yeah. And I agree with that. And that goes with family too, friends, family, whatever. Like that's across the board. It needs to be mutual. The right. love needs to be mutual. If it's not a mutual love, then how can a relationship continue to develop a friendship of like how it can't there's no way no that's why i don't think in in certain situations not in everything love is not enough that's what it is for me you know what i'm saying yeah i can feel it for you and i can like break up with you let's just say with all the sadness of my heart because it's like wow i really love this person but they're not fulfilling my my needs the way and i feel like we've all be been there we've all yeah. been there we've loved somebody so much and it's either had to come to a point where you had to pick yourself and loving yourself or accepting life for what it is and loving that person. Right. And because when you're with somebody, you have to love who they are and accept them for who they are mm -hmm. and either grow to like it and understand or, or not. Or not. And it's like both partners need to be on the same page and understanding that it's either we're going to work together and try to find common ground or we're going to have to let each other go and move on no matter how much love there is. And that's a tough it's conversation. So tough. And that's why I always say, like, people literally have to have... I think communication is the most important thing. Even before 100%. you get there. Because it's like, if you knew or fripped that this is what I wanted and you know that I was not going to change my mind, people, please stop getting with people that are telling you what it is from the beginning. Save yourself time. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Because if they're speaking this to you, like, I do not want this, and you're still getting with them, like, I think I can change their mind. And I think, bro, you're, you're going to end up, like, they're going to end up resenting you. Yeah, and vice versa. And because, you're going to resent them too. And you're going to resent them too. But at the end of the day, they told you what was up and you thought that you could change them. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, which is another topic for, for its own. But yeah, I just don't, in today's day and age, with when it's almost when it comes to everything except for I think your kids love is not enough love is not enough and let's just talk about like the positives of love right like being in love and in a relationship like being in love is beautiful oh my God, it yes. is supposed to be easy it is supposed to make you happy it say is, that again love is supposed to be easy it is not supposed to be hard it's not supposed to be complicated At it all. is not supposed to be toss toxic and arguing every day like it is supposed to uplift you and help you be better yeah you know what i mean that's like your best friend it's that's your that your partner you, the person you love is supposed to be your best absolutely friend. and we're not saying that you don't bicker and you don't have your little moments but like you should be able to buy if it's love for real you should be able to bounce back a hundred a hundred maybe like a night like no, i'm not talking to you tonight you know what i'm saying right. but like yeah love should be easy it should be easy and i saw something while doing like reading up on this topic is that one of the keys for to be in a successful relationship when you love somebody is to learn how to disagree without argument. And when I read that, I know. <laughs> I Wait that. a second. That's fucking crazy, right? Like, I gotta learn that. Wow. Disagree with our argument. How do you do that? And then it was like a fucking rabbit hole for me because it was like, how do you do that? I'm still, <laughs> I'm still learning. I'm still learning. I'm still learning. I'm still learning. I'm not going to sit here and try to tell the people one thing that I don't know. Like, I, I'm learning that myself. Like, I, that is a crazy concept. So I was like, wow, this is something. Love needs work. Love needs love work. Love is work. It's not easy. It's not. Because it's like, I, I don't know what it was. I, I wish I would have wrote it down. But someone had said, like, Love it. I don't. I don't know. I have to like. I, I'm gonna have to come back to you guys when I when I think of it. But it made so much sense in my head. Like love is work. Yeah. Like sometimes you may fall out of love with the person, yeah. or not even out of love. I think it's out of like. Sometimes I don't like you, but I love you. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, and you gotta kind of like fight through that. 
and that's because it's hard like, sometimes i don't like you yeah like sometimes you get on my goddamn nerves and i'm sure i get on yours too right you know not her guys yeah, I'm just saying, her, in her general, my boyfriend yeah. he yeah. really sometimes he <laughs> you know what i'm saying like but like it's just i love that keeps you there everything else that comes along with that you know what i'm saying not just that moment of me disliking you right because it's not always rainbows and sunshine like we have to be real and not expect a fairy tale that doesn't exist like there's going to be hard times there's going to be times where you don't like your partner where you're questioning like what am i even doing here but if it's real love then you guys are gonna stick through you're gonna pull through and And something happens and you're like Ah, uh, right. I remember now why I like, like you. you. Right. And you're like, oh, shit. Now I even love you again. Like, uh-huh. God damn, like, here's the butterflies. <laughs> it's like a yeah, here's the butterflies again. Right. Um, And I also just wanted to talk about quickly just like ways to show your partner love because Valentine's Day is coming. It's right. Coming up. Happy Valentine's Day, everybody. everybody. Um, And I feel like it's something that. Some people don't celebrate and that's totally fine because every day should be special with your partner. I truly believe that. Like it shouldn't take one day for you to get recognized. But it's a matter of like prioritizing your partner. Mm -hmm. Like you have to make time even when you have your own world and your own life. Like you guys are both two individual people who come together and become one. Mm -hmm. Right. I think that it's so important for people to take that from like the five love languages. Yes. I I don't know what yours is, but for some reason, I think you love words of affirmation. I do, and I also um, really like um, gift giving. <laughs> you like gift receiving or gift giving? Both. <laughs> Give me all the gifts. Give me all the gifts. Like, no, and I say that because it's like, if you go to the store and you know I love root beer, right? And you buy me a root beer and I go to see you and you pull out a root beer out the fridge. It's like I'm doing fucking backflips. Yeah. With me, it's actions. Mine's is actions. And I really like, like physical touch. With me, yeah, not me. I don't like physical touch. Don't touch me. <laughs> don't touch me like i don't like to be touched by nobody but my boyfriend though honestly yeah. like I, I don't mind being touched by my boyfriend but anybody else hugs and all that crap we ain't doing that but i do love action like let's say i come home from work and i'm tired and my boyfriend's home or whatever and i come home and the room's clean acts of service is your thing that's what it is mm-hmm. i said actions but actions i don't know what i know what you make girl <laughs> acts of service that yes. literally like it could sarah it could be a lollipop Bro, I, it's the thought. And you're like, yo, like, I, I thought, oh, my God. Like, I melt. Like, just things that, like, you know, will make my life easier. You don't even have to tell me you love me every day. Like, right. just you doing things like that that will alleviate my stress. I, I, am so, I am so happy you just said that. You do not have to tell me that you love me every day. Show me. Show me. I don't give a shit about words. words. What is your word going to do for me? Right. I'm so tired. Right. 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 I don't show me you love me. Show me. Yes. Kiss show me. me you love me. Right. God damn it. <laughs> love me. Hug me. Kiss me. Cuddle me. I want to be touched. I don't want to be. T- <laughs> I don't want to be touched like that. Maybe a hug here and there works. But please, like, do my bed. Yeah. Please, when I'm about to get my my, my womanly time, get me my favorite snacks, which my boyfriend's Chocolate. amazing at that. He knows my pad sizes, <laughs> pampers. He knows. <laughs> he Adult knows, diapers. Like, <laughs> he knows when it comes to that, like, things like that, literally. I seen a TikTok of a lady crying because she's like, my husband made my pregnancy journey so beautiful. That must be a beautiful That made my eyes almost water. Yeah, girl. Because it's like, you don't ever see women saying that, like Mm -hmm. that their husband's made, obviously if you're going through a bad pregnancy, it's whatever, but if they're, doing their best to make you comfortable to, to tell you yep. that they that you're beautiful that you know massage your legs and make your pregnancy journey beautiful that's amazing that right there is, is a love. man that loves his wife or his girl like yes. that is and those are the actions that i believe reinforce love like yeah. those are the things yeah love needs to be reinforced yeah by the uh, action a hundred percent absolutely um but yeah i that this is a great topic and i'm glad that we spoke about it before yeah. like valentine's day it was much needed Mm -hmm. um overall you need both you need both yeah you you need you need actions you need feelings and if you're not getting the actions behind the feelings it's not enough that's absolutely we can agree to that i agree to that so i don't know anything else (laughs) no that's it it's been real (laughs) we want to just wish everybody a happy valentine's day whether you're single whether you're not whether you're in a situationship whatever happy valentine's day we cannot wait to see you guys next time and Yeah, that's it. Over and out. Bye. Bye.